Okay, I finished doing all the wiring and everything on these 6500s that I replaced uh, a couple of LV 6548s um, that I had numerous, numerous problems with. They'd work for a while and then something would pop. Um, but I reconfigured this whole area here. I saw how Adam Delay did it and I kind of liked how clean it is. So um, I changed it with that. Uh, just give an overview of what's going on. Um, so my grid feed is coming from this breaker here and you can see it's off right now. Got the black and the red there. And it comes into here, goes um, into a Polaris connector where uh, the black labeled as LPL1 input goes here and the red is L2 input goes here. And then the output, uh, I, I left the ground off um, because they're shared grounds anyway, so it doesn't make any sense to do it. But also from the latest diagram that was on DIY Solar Forum, uh, it looks like this may not be necessary since it's already got the ground that it's already fed into. And I already tested that with the continuity tester and everything. Um, but anyway, so we got L1 output, the black one, it goes into here to L1 or on that, that amp, uh, 60 amp breaker. And then L2 output goes to the red one here on the 60 amp breaker. And I already tested everything with a continuity tester to make sure. And before anyone says anything, this is off. I'm using a, uh, one of those generator lockout switch thingies. Uh, once I get the panel back on, and everything labeled correctly um, that should be fine and this is so this is the grid panel and this is the off-grid panel right now it's just all feeding off the grid but uh, I'll once I get these puppies going then uh, you know then I'll be using solar and battery so here's the solar uh, inputs um, there's not a combiner box this is straight straight going into these these right here now let me show you this on the outside first so I have three strings coming in to this uh, PV isolator switch. It's it's actually in the off position right now. Um, now it's in the off position. <laughs> anyway, because um, I was testing the the uh, input or the uh, voltage. Um, so it comes into here and there's only three hooked up. I went ahead and hooked up the other wire for the fourth one, um, just down the road if I get another one input in here. And, um, then these are wired into some SPDs. Um, let's see what else. Um, so I use a uh, one inch and half inch conduit for these. Um, this is, like I said, it was taken from uh, the idea of the way Adam DeLay set up his on uh, the, his YouTube channel. Um, and I use these caps everywhere. Let me tell you, you running four gauge wire through these things and connect them up here is a real pain, but this is so much better than what was on the um, LV6548s. And uh, I also noticed it has a reset button here, which is interesting. None of that was on the LV6548s. The fans are bigger on these, which makes them probably louder. Um, and that, that probably explains why they have more idle um, uh, voltage going to these things, or watts, idle watts. Anyway, and then, um, so anyway, you can see I, I, I did one thing at a time. So I started out with just the, um, the income hot wires, did that. And I did the in incoming neutral and ground and did those. And then I switched to the output side and I did the output, made sure everything went back there. I tested it all with continuity uh, checker and everything's fine there. Um, there here's the battery uh, disconnects. Um, I have all the covers off because I just moved everything around. Um, and then we got the this cabinet here, it's just got four of the EG4 LL batteries in it. Um, all the battery cables are the same length. Yeah, let's put this back here so it looks like it's the same length anyway. Anyway, um, uh, 
Anyway, I wanted to see if anyone had any, any other ideas I need to check before I start cranking this baby up because I do not want to have the same problems I had with uh, the LV6548s. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thoughts, comments, suggestions? Let me know. Have a good day.